And when Saul set out with the army, he said, Lo, Allah will try you by the ordeal of a river. Whosoever therefore drinketh thereof, he is not of me, and whosoever tasteth it not, he is of me, save him who taketh thereof in the hollow of his hand. But they drank thereof, all save a few of them. And after he had crossed the river, he and those who believed with him, they said, We have no power this day against Goliath and his hosts. But those who knew that they would meet their Lord exclaimed, How many a little company hath overcome a mighty host by Allah's leave? Allah is with the steadfast. And when they went into the field against Goliath and his hosts, they said, Our Lord, bestow on us endurance, make our foothold sure, and give us help against the disbelieving folk. So they routed them by Allah's leave, and David slew Goliath, and Allah gave him the kingdom and wisdom, and taught him of that which he willeth. And if Allah had not repelled some men by others, the earth would have been corrupted. But Allah is a Lord of kindness to his creatures. These are the portents of Allah, which we recite unto thee, Muhammad, with truth. And lo, thou art of the number of our messengers. Of those messengers, some of whom we have caused to excel others, and of whom there are some unto whom Allah spake, while some of them he exalted above others in degree. And we gave Jesus, son of Mary, clear proofs of Allah's sovereignty, and we supported him with the Holy Spirit. And if Allah had so willed it, those who followed after them would not have fought one with another after the clear proofs had come unto them. But they deferred, some of them believing and some disbelieving. And if Allah had so willed it, they would not have fought one with another. But Allah doeth what he will. O ye who believe...